Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today include the launch of a new form of traditional stock investment using cryptocurrencies, Kraken's report on government subpoenas, and Gemini's new crypto ad campaign. Stay tuned for more. I'm your host Sun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. A digital exchange opening today will allow investors to trade crypto tokens that represent actual shares of major firms including Apple, Facebook, and Tesla. According to Bloomberg News, DX Exchange, a digital exchange based in Estonia, will offer digital tokens backed by the shares of top 10 Nasdaq-listed companies. According to the official website of DX Exchange, the company has entered into an agreement with MPS Marketplace Securities which will buy stocks on behalf of DX Exchange and generate ERC-20 tokens to represent these stocks. The introduction of this new exchange has been welcomed within the financial and crypto industry. By allowing shares to be traded 24-7 and facilitating the buying and selling US shares through cryptocurrencies, DX Exchange represents a new paradigm for investing in traditional stocks. Yesterday, the crypto exchange Kraken published what it calls a transparency report to analyze the volumes of law enforcement requests they received. And as it turns out, Kraken has received nearly three times more government subpoenas in 2018 than that in 2017. According to the report, the exchange received 160 inquiries during 2017. However, in 2018, the number nearly tripled to reach as many as 475 inquiries. Among them, Kraken stated that 315 came from the United States. The exchange claims that such high numbers coming out of the U.S. is one reason why businesses often choose to limit their services to non-U.S. customers. They further went on to assert that the cost of handling subpoenas has become a barrier to entry into the crypto industry. Being based in the United States, it seems only logical that the majority of subpoenas originate from the USF government bodies. However, the sheer number of subpoenas received in 2018 nonetheless suggests the need for a proper legal regulatory framework within the crypto sector. A good news to Swiss crypto traders as crypto-friendly statesman takes over the Swiss presidency. Ueli Mohr, who served as the former finance minister of Switzerland over the past three years, will be starting his term as president of the Swiss Confederation as of 2019. ULE's presidency is a positive development for the Swiss crypto industry, which is already considered one of the most pro-crypto environments along with Malta, Gibraltar, and Estonia. While Mower is yet to disclose his specific plans for crypto during his presidency, crypto startups and traders in Switzerland expect a bright future for the country's crypto industry. The creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, has been ranked as the 44th most powerful person in finance. According to Worth.com, the mysterious creator of the Bitcoin network, Satoshi Nakamoto, ranked 44th most powerful person in finance above Fidelity CEO, Paul Krugman, and Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg. While President Trump was stated to be the most powerful individual among the list, Exempting government officials, Satoshi Nakamoto was placed to be in the top 20 list. Last week marked the 10th anniversary of the Bitcoin network, which took the world by storm last year when it reached a value of approximately $20,000. However, the original creator of the currency remains unknown till this day. While a number of people have been suggested as the possible creator, we still have no conclusive evidence as to who Satoshi actually is. Gemini, a crypto exchange founded by the Winklevoss twins, has put out a new ad campaign, Crypto Needs Rules. Across New York, the exchange has put ads to deliver slogans like The Revolution Needs Rules, Crypto Without Chaos, and Money Has a Future to call out to regulators for a proper legal framework on crypto. According to Chris Rowan, head of marketing at Gemini, the company believes that crypto investors deserve the same protection as investors in traditional markets. But it's hard to know what to make of this campaign. On the surface, the campaign seems well-intentioned, calling for a clearer regulatory framework, 
But some members of the public are claiming that this is just another example of corporatocracy, saying that what crypto needs is less regulation, not more. Regardless of the company's intentions, its efforts to raise awareness on cryptocurrencies seems to be making a good headway. Bringing the latest news to you, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thanks for watching.